Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope that everybody is doing well today. In this video, I'm going to make a comparison between two of the most common baits that I use when I go and fish. And that is a frozen peeler crab and a frozen bunker. And we're gonna find out which of these two baits can catch the most fish. So we finally made it here to our destination. I brought two rods with me. One will be loaded with this frozen bunker and then the other one will be loaded with this frozen peeler crab. So let's put both of this bait in the water and see what happens. All right, so the first one that's gonna go in the water is the peeler crab. This one right here is the, uh, the bunker. And now all we have to do is watch and wait. Looks like this one is getting a bite right now. This is the crab bait. Yep. Yep. Did we get one? Oh, yep. We caught a fish on a crab bait. Okay, I got it. Ah, uh, look at that. A healthy looking baby channel catfish. First fish goes to the crab bait. All right. This is a small fish. Look at that. Molly wants to play with the fish. So we caught the first fish using the crab bait. I apologize for the audio because it was busted, but I finally fixed it. So let's go ahead and drop some more bait in the water. And uh, in a few minutes, I'm gonna go check the bunker and see if the bait is still there or not. Molly, watch out love. Well, you know what? I'm gonna toss it all the way out here. Right about there. Yeah. I think we just caught another fish. Yep, we have a fish. Oh my goodness, this is the second time now. Wow, look at that. All right, so this is the second fish for the crab bait. This one feels like it's a little bit bigger than the first one. Okay, I got it, Molly. Unbelievable, I just dropped it and not even five minutes, we caught our second fish. I have a feeling that the fish over here really likes the crab bait rather than the bunker. This is a good keeper size. I think I'm gonna keep this, not sure. This is definitely bigger than the first one, for sure. So what do we got here? What do we got here, Molly? This is the bunker. And uh, it doesn't seem like we have any bite. Oh no, it's still here. Look at that. 
the bunker is still there. Look at this, the bunker is still on the hook, but it looks like some small fish is trying to eat around it. But I'm going to change this uh, bait and this time I'm going to switch them around and we will throw the bunker that way since we're catching a lot of fish on this side and I'm going to take the other rod with the crab bait and throw it that way and see if there's going to be any difference. Whew, man. All right, I hope I don't fall here. There. And then we go back to our place. So that's the bunker. And then I'm going to take this crab bait and throw it that way. And there you go. All right. That looks like a good distance. All right. Let's put this over here. There we go. So it's been 28 minutes since we caught our last fish. I'm gonna go ahead and check our poles and see if our bait is still on the hook. Well, there you go. We don't have any more bunker on the hook, so it's either uh, a fish took the bait or we just lost it. So it looks like a fish took the crab bait, but unfortunately we did not catch the fish. So we've been here for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and put this bait in the water and do it one last time and see if we can catch any fish. All right, so this is the bunker. That's the bunker. And this is the crab bait. I have a feeling that catfish around here prefers the crab bait rather than the bunker. Okay, there you go. Uh-oh. This one just moved. This one just moved. Did we catch anything with this? Yeah, I think we did. Yep. Yep. We caught one. We caught one. A catfish. Yep. There's... Here's the fish. Are you guys seeing this? I hope you guys are seeing this. Uh, another fish for the crab bait. Look at this sucker. That's a big catfish. Oh my. There you go, our final fish for today caught by the crab bait. Unbelievable, look at that. Wow. It's perfect timing, you know why? Because it's starting to rain. So I think it's only appropriate that uh, we put her back in the water, pack everything up and let us go home. Yeah. Molly, let her go. So in conclusion, the crab bait caught all the fish that we caught today. I did have a suspicion though that the crab bait was far more superior than the bunker because I've used bunkers before and it takes a while for you to get a fish if you're using that as a bait in comparison to a peeler crab or a crab bait. So there you go. If you guys have any questions or comments about this video, please drop it down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. And then the other rod will be loaded with this uh, 
frozen uh, one will be loaded with this frozen uh, uh, I forgot what this is um, so we've been here for a while I'm gonna go ahead and put this rods in the water so we've been here for a while I'm gonna go ahead and put this two in the water so we've been here for a while for one more time one last time so we've been here for a while I'm gonna go ahead and put this to put so I'm gonna go put this bait in the water one last time and see if we can catch any fish. 